Hey folks, welcome to ADSR. I'm Stephen Ellistad. Make sure that you subscribe to ADSR on YouTube and follow on social media for great production content. In this machine tutorial, I wanted to take a look at how we can easily build reverse accents in our beats. And machine makes this really, really simple, so I just wanted to show you a couple little tricks that have you doing this real fast and real easy. So this is a basic beat I got set up. And I think it'd be cool to have some reverse accents in there. I've loaded up a crash cymbal, as well as a snare. And both of them give you a different kind of flavor on the reverse. And it's really a simple process in its most basic form. We literally just come over here and turn it on to reverse. And we just turn it on to reverse over here in the software. And then we have our start time. which we can use to set up how long that takes. We can also adjust the tuning. And remember, when we adjust the tuning of something in the sampler, we're also changing its duration. So something that's higher is also shorter. And if we need to, we can come in here and also adjust the envelope, whether it's AHD, Attack, Hold, Decay, or ADSR. But generally, I find one shot works just fine. However, to get it lined up right, that can be the tricky part. And so the easiest way I've found is to go into step mode at fixed velocity and just Bring it in and where you think you want it. So perhaps. And now we've got a nice reference point. We can come in here and go back to our plugin and adjust the envelope parameters, etc. And if you're not sure where you want it, maybe put it on the first beat. But I generally find it's easier, depending if you're going for a really short one, a 16th note or an 8th note, to put it before your snare. Because that's generally where you're going to be placing them. And it can also be nice after that to come in and maybe add some type of a reverb or something. So that throws things out of whack a little bit, but that's no problem. We just come back and adjust. And then sometimes I'll find that maybe a, a limiter works well here. So we can come in and just kind of mash it all together a little bit. And again, as we adjust, we might need to go back and adjust some of the other, other elements. In fact, I think we'll go back, we'll try this plate. And I think we'll finish it off by brightening it up with an EQ. And we'll just come in here and lift it a little bit on the high end, probably move that up to around 4K. And 
if we don't like it there, we can come in and move it somewhere else. And those make for some really nice little accent pieces, especially the ones out of the snares. The ones out of the crashes are a little more interesting. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to reverse it. And we're going to come into step mode. And I'm going to try to get it timed out to that first beat. I think maybe I want this to be half as long, so. All right, I think we're getting somewhere with that one. But another cool thing we can do here, especially with the ones with uh, made out of brass, is put a filter on it and actually modulate this thing a little bit. So we're gonna go to Sync LFO and let's just solo out. There we go, now we got a nice little filter action. It's subtle, but it's doing something pretty cool there. We can adjust the frequency. So there you go, a quick look at a couple of ways of making some reverse accents inside your beats and timing them out so they fit right. In a later video, I'll show you how to build a longer riser that's timed to the bar so you can lay it right into your patterns. I'm Steven Ellis Def for ADSR. Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel. I'll see you next time. Take care.